Good morning, my beautiful people. Combo Hivemind here. A little bit of uh, on the job. Not too much of this going on. I mean, there's a lot going on. It's just you guys don't get to see a lot. I just wanted to record a little something, something real quick because I am working um, extremely dangerous today and I wanted to share that with you because it's actually the first time I actually do this. Um, I'm working super high up. Super high up. I'm working up there this morning and I got two cranes on the on the way, on route right now. Uh, it's The location of the, of the sign itself is about 160 something feet from the ground. The last time that I was here I had a 180 foot boom which was too short. <laughs> so now I got two cranes on the way and one will lift me and my assistant, my helper, to the site up there and then one will winch the sign down. So, <laughs> good morning to everybody. I will be recording on my way up. Obviously, I won't be recording while I'm up there because uh, I got a job to do and these cranes do not come cheap. So, that is it. I am working right up there. I will see you boys and girls when I return. Actually, when I'm on my way up and then when I'm on the ground. I'm just going to give a little bit of a recap every time I actually make it on the ground or so. I actually have that one up there. So the plan this morning is, and I love when a plan comes together, and uh, I'm extremely organized when it comes to plans. I've that one at 160 feet. That's my first priority. Once the cranes show up, we're gonna set up and we're going all the way up there. My plan is to take that sign down. While the sign's on this way down, I am to call my shop somebody will drive here with a truck pin up to the trailer with the sign on the trailer and drive it back to my shop while they are prepping the sign at my shop which should take about two hours i have another sign on the side there so as you can see there's one completely completely up and there's one halfway up and the halfway up mark is about well, I tried with a 60 foot boom and I wasn't reaching it. So I'm saying that's about 80, 90 feet off the ground. I have one on my trailer already for that one. So once the first one's on the ground and heading back to my shop, I am to do the secondary one and then reset up for the first one again. And when it shows up, I'm just gonna. So like I said, I'm gonna have some time in between the two to recap a little bit what's going on. And uh, I'll see you boys and girls in just a few. A little bit of a recap, boys and girls. We are here setting up at the job site. I can't see far at all. There's one crane showing up there, and the other crane is already setting up in the back. It's gonna be fun. Uh, as I said before, one crane is lifting me and all my tools up, and one crane is lifting. The sign which is 175 feet off the ground so i'm just going to turn the camera around and show you guys a little bit of what's going on here here we have it boys and girls that is what is going on i don't know if i should be like this or like this i'm gonna go like this no i'm gonna go like this because the whole video is like this already this is what's going on here crane number one that is going to be holding on to my sign face Transport there is simply here to offload a basket crane uh, for me and my tools. My guy is there waiting for me. All my tools, I don't know what I'm going to need out there. It is 175, 180 feet up there. So I'm bringing a little bit of everything. All my slings. I got 6 footers, 12 footers, 4 footers, 8 footers, 10 footers. I got some clevises, rope, obviously gloves, chicken wire. So I can set all the tools that I think I'm going to need. The grinder, hammer, drills, drill bits. A little bit of everything. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for us. So we're going to record everything as we go up. I will record as well. That is one sign. That is a 24 foot trailer. And that is one sign on my trailer. That's it. Now this is a flex face material. Two guys can lift this. 
It's, that's all it is. It's a material. It's not heavy at all. It's just awkward because it's 16 feet by 8 feet. But we do have some listing brackets on it, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Crane number two is going to be setting up down there. He's holding on to the sign, which is all the way up there. Tahoe Canada is no longer. Tahoe Canada was bought not too long ago by Pan American Silver. So they're changing the name. Obviously, they need the name changed. I'll bring you down there just a little bit just to show you crane number two. He's already got his outriggers set up. That's going to be crane number two right over there. He's going to hook up to the basket on that transport there. Crane number one. Or actually, crane number one is going to be my basket. Because, you know, that's that's like... It's like precious. I mean, he's holding my life in his hands. So it's kind of important for him to be like a little firecracker. So yeah, he's going to hook up to that and um, bring that basket down. And then uh, I'll show you guys some pictures in just a bit. We're almost ready. We are almost ready to go up. The crane is setting up his rigging right now which is all weights because uh, he needs the extra weight to be able to bring us up there. Crane number two is in the back corner, right there. Uh, he is going to be lifting the sign face itself as crane number one is going to be the basket. So it's gonna be like the firecracker. It's gonna be the important, it's gonna be the precious cargo because me, right here, I'm precious cargo. I wanna be precious cargo. Basket's right there behind me. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, that's the basket. That is what I am going into, 180 feet up in the air with crane number one. Uh, for sign number one, sign number two will be about 80, 90 feet off the ground, which is already on my trailer at the moment. So I'm gonna be here all day. Cranes are scheduled for eight hours. They're gonna be here all day for sure. Uh, hoping that when I get up there, it's going to be a quick fix. It's just going to be a quick, a quick 20 minute job. Take the sign down. The long part is going to be taking it back to my shop, having somebody come get it. And uh, there's at least two hours of, of work to be done on it at my shop. So that's just a little bit of a recap. I will, uh, I'll record again once I'm on my way up to heaven. I don't believe in heaven, but <laughs> up there. And uh, yeah, there's crane number one holding my basket and crane number two is in the far corner holding the sign. I am here and my truck is somewhere in the back right there. I'm going to keep it running because it is cold. It is super cold. I am dressed up like a uh, an Eskimo. Full class three. I don't know if you guys can see it. Full class three cold clothing, winter hat, double scarves because it is cold. The wind is here. It is a snowstorm this morning and... It's only going to get worse once I get up there because nothing's going to be there to block the wind. I'm going to be straight on to the wind. So I will be back once we're going up. This is it, boys and girls. We're going up. Actually, the ground's down there. My truck's down there, and the crane is down here. There's my crane, and that's where I'm going. There's the other crane. There's the guys setting up the crane. There's my truck over there. And then there's my crane over there. We're going up. We're going up super high just for one side face. I actually got two side faces. One's 180 feet, like I said, and one is uh, 80, 90 feet. So it's a little bit sketchy. You can see the cables up above me. You can see the crane up above me. And uh, so once I get up there, I'm not going to be recording because uh, it's chop, chop, lollipop. It's get the sign down, and uh, that's about it. Because these guys are built for eight hours, and I'm assuming this is going to be like a fifty, sixty thousand dollar job just to get the one sign phase down and redone. So um, I got all my tools down here. It is it is a frozen winter wonderland. Trains down there, as you can see. I don't want to move too much because this basket does teeter totter a bit. And it is going to be a little bit sketchy. So uh, I'm going to stop recording and hold on for dear life. If uh, if we die here today, 
lived a good life. Sure, that's a good way to leave it. How's it going, boys and girls? I just want to recap on this video. Um, obviously, I'm home. TV's in the back. I'm home. Um, I made it down alive. Shocking. Actually, the job went off without a hitch. It went pretty good. And I love having a plan to get her because it goes super good. Uh, we both went up. Both cranes went up. We hooked up to the uh, the, the sign. Um, my crane was up first with the basket. I unscrewed everything that I could while remaining some screws on there because crane number two, which was the one bringing the face, the sign down, was not up there yet. So um, I removed all the screws all the way around just to prep myself. Once crane two was up there, I hooked it up to uh, the sign and then I unscrewed the rest. He took it down. We had a rope on it. It went, it went super, super good. Um, as I was taking it down, I called the shop. I got somebody from the shop to come to the mine site to pick up the, the, the sign. And then we just did the swamp. And then uh, we got the other one ready at the shop. And I mean, everything, everything went pretty good. Um... I just got into the moment and I forgot to re-record while I was on the site itself. But like I said, everything went pretty good. I'm going to add a whole bunch of pictures after this video. Just a little bit of a slideshow. Um, stay until the end. Because it's awesome. Possum. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy this. I really enjoyed this. This was the first time that I've actually went this far in in a basket, uh, this high up in a basket. Uh, I mean, of course, everybody's been high up. We've been in planes and this and that, so it's 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 no big deal. But in a basket that you're being held on by one little wire, my only concern about that was I don't know this machine. I trust the operator, but I don't know this machine. And it's always a little bit skeptical when you jump into a machine that you don't know anything about. You don't know its safety. Obviously, the crane is certified, but what if, right? What if? I will jump in my truck day and night, and I won't even think about looking at it twice because I know that it's well-maintained because I'm the one that does the mechanical, the maintenance, and everything on that machine. I know if there's a bolt missing somewhere that he says, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. But that ends up being a very important bolt or whatever reason, right? So that was the only skeptical part that I had towards the whole job. But I'm glad that everything went good and I'm glad that we were done at 4, 4.30 in the afternoon and the cranes showed up around 9 o'clock in the morning. They were set up around 10 o'clock in the morning, so it went it went pretty good. So, so I just wanted to recap on that while I was home. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like. Don't forget to join the server as well, Discord server. Links down below. We're looking for people. We need to uh, populate the server. I'm actually looking at it right now. Um, I'd like all of you to join now. Don't make me go find you. Don't do it. Just join down below, right, right, right down here. There's gonna be a link to the Discord server, and if you can't access that link for whatever reason, go in the About section. To just a couple of tabs over, um, and um, yeah, I gotta forget. I gotta remember. You look over there. Click that link, Discord, official Discord. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.